Hi, my name is Rick, and I'm from SuperfunScience.com. Uh, everybody knows that bees make honey, but exactly how that happens and what's going on inside the hive is a question that a lot of people have. So what we decided to do was go and visit our friend Harry, who lives not that far from us, and he keeps bees, and he said he'll let us take a look inside the hive. So uh, let's go and check it out, shall we? I'm... Like I said, I'm trying to give them everything they can get, so I'm feeding them. Nice. I mean, obviously these are empty. I'll fill them up later. Now, I haven't smoked them or anything, so I can't tell you exactly how docile they're going to be. But they it's should, okay. They shouldn't be too bad. But And these are new. I put these hive bodies on, but that's the hive body. Okay. And you see that they're starting to work it. Yeah. And really, they do not want to harm you. No, they don't, because it hurts them, doesn't it? Well, they die. Yeah. Um, if I, I, I'd rather not open up this, the second high body. No, well, we don't have to. Is where they work a lot more. Oh. Okay. You'd see them making honeycombs right yep. there. Yep. But they're not going to be aggressive. I mean, if they sting you, it's only because you pinched them or something. Right, right. But we can put this back together. And I'm very cavalier about dealing with bees, because if you're afraid of them, then you've lost the, you've lost the game. Well, the, yeah, there's bees flying all over us. Yeah, but I they're mean, not, they don't want to hurt no, us they, as much as we don't want to hurt them. <laughs> Right, I mean, now they're getting a little bit pissed off, <laughs> Right. Say, but they're not going to hurt you unless they have to. Well, once they only do that, the only reason they sting is to protect the hive. Right, so once it's back together, they don't, they oh, leave, they don't, care, they don't care anymore. They don't care anymore. I actually was mowing with that big mower. Right. I mowed all around these hives, mm -hmm. and they left me alone. Right. Every once in a while, you see them fighting with another bee. Because what you'll see, it's hard to see right now. Let's look at a hive we haven't stirred up. Okay. Um, you'll have guard bees. <coughs> Those these are all females, of course. Right. But you'll have these are these bees that are that are moving around like that. They're cleaning the hive. Oh. They're, they're keeping everything because bees are very clean. So they're cleaning the hive and you see them going back and forth grooming. Oh yeah. And then you'll see other ones, if you see a bee that isn't, doesn't belong to this hive, they fight it. They chase them off. Chase it off or carry it out. Have you ever been invaded by uh, hornets or anything? Because that happens occasionally, right? Uh, a strong hive can actually take care of. Yeah. yeah, they do that because they come in to rob the honey. Right. But a strong hive can actually make Well, they sure do they do something really strange. They they all gather up together and they, they yeah, beat they their wings and it raises the temperature too much for the hornets, right? That's exactly what they it's do. Really cool. Because <laughs> um, they can actually make the temperature Beyond the temperature that the uh, that the other insect can tolerate. Yeah. 